Today, I've got an exciting job for you. With your partner, I'm going to give you a gingerbread man. And you can use any of the things on the table to cut and stick and to colour to decorate your gingerbread man. Because look at him, that doesn't look like a gingerbread man, does it? No. We need to decorate it, OK? Now, Fatuma is my partner today and we're going to work together to decorate this gingerbread man, OK? I think it's really important that my teaching assistant helps me to model things so that her a position in the class is highlighted to the children, but also as much successful adult modelling as possible, I think, really supports what our children can do. And um, if everybody in the classroom is working towards the same goal, if we're all speaking to each other in a certain way or modelling a certain type of language, then I think the children will automatically begin to use it in the way that they interact with each other and with other adults. Stick some orange one. No. Hmm. Okay, I'm some pink one. No. Oh. Oh, the button. No. Am I being a good partner to Fatima? No. What's the problem? What's the problem, Chantel? Every time Fatima picks up, you say no. You say no. Is it being helpful just to say no all the time? No. What could I do to be a better partner? What could I do so that we can get our work done properly? A cleaner. You, you can take turns. That's good thinking. We could take turns. Fatima could have an idea and then I could have an idea. What could I do instead of just saying no? What could I say, Matthew? I agree. I could say I agree, but what if I don't, what if I don't really like Fatima's idea? What if I've got another idea, Yusra? I disagree. I could say, instead of just saying no, I could say I disagree. I think we should use some pink to look like icing. I could say my idea like that, couldn't I? OK, Fatima, let's have another go, see if we can do a better job this time. Okay. My teaching assistant's got a lot of classroom experience and a lot of experience working with children with SEN, so she's very confident to help me and join in with role plays, modelling good behaviour and bad behaviour. And at the beginning of the week, I'd give my TA lesson plans where her role is highlighted as to what I'd expect. Sometimes I'll model it first with a more confident adult, such as Kathleen, our speech therapist, and then later in the week I would use Fatuma to support that. Um, usually I would speak to her directly before the lesson, and together we'd prepare some ideas, just very quickly, for how we would present a role play. You can say what do you think and then you can share it. Good thinking. I can say to Fatima, what do you think? What's your idea?